let's remove that's from this Gen 3 LSPCM. Let me show you how. This is part three of a series about how to do this for free. So if you haven't seen the last two videos, click the playlist at the bottom of this video. Watch those two. It'll show you what hardware you need, what software you need, how to get the bin off of your PCM so that you can modify it. Continuing on from there, what you need to do after you got your bin file off your PCM, so let's go ahead and open up Tuner Pro. So what you're going to see is pretty much a blank screen. So what you got to do is go up to the top left, go to File and Open Bin. Find the bin that you saved and open it up. So there's nothing populating the left side of the screen here because you don't have an XDF file. The XDF file is a definition file, so it defines all the parameters so that you can modify them. How to get an XDF file, you can either create a free account on the Gearhead EFI forum and find them in there. You can find bin files that people have posted and XDF files that people have made. Um, you got to pay attention to the operating system on the bin file that you're using to match it with the XDF file that you download. So once you do that, we're going to go to XDF, which is right next to the file button in the top left corner of the screen. We're going to go to select XDF. And then we're going to find the XDF file that we just downloaded and open it up. And now you'll see all the parameters are populated on the left side of the screen in per category. You can switch how it's organized, but uh, I like to do parameter category. And the first one you'll see for this operating system, which is 12587603, will be VATS. Let me show you how to disable VATS off of this PCM and reflash it to the PCM so you can go start your engine. Open up the VATS folder right here. Double click on the VATS. The cool thing about this software is that if you hover over the parameter you're trying to learn about or change, it gives you a brief description of what it does and what the values mean. So 2 equals VATS inactive. So we're going to switch that over to 2 and we're going to save that. Just hit save. And if that's all you want to do, that's fine. You just want to start your vehicle or start your engine up before you swap it into whatever you're putting it in. We're going to go to file and save bin as. Don't hit save bin because it'll overwrite your stock file. And you want to save that stock file just in case anything goes wrong. Then you can just flash that stock file onto your PCM and start over. And we're going to use the same name, only we're going to change the stock because it's not stock anymore, it's modified, but VATS is disabled, so we're gonna write VATS disabled. And we're gonna save it just like that. So, that's disabling VATS. Unfortunately, that is all the info I can cram into this video. So, you'll have to watch the next one. Stick around, you guys. Follow me if you haven't already. Follow along with this series. Hit that playlist button. Go watch all the videos before this one. Thank you, I appreciate it. LSWAP everything.